everyone. This is Midnight Blues and Other Musings, a figure skating podcast. Today, we're very excited to have Canadian national medalist and world junior champion Marjorie on our podcast for an interview. Uh, Cece, my co-host, couldn't make it today, um, but I'm thrilled to get to know you better. How are you doing today? Hi, everybody. I'm very good. Thanks for having me. I'm very glad. Awesome. So we have a few fun questions to kind of warm you up. Um, that I'm going to ask you before we talk about more serious stuff, if that's all right with you. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, what's the last thing you watched? Ooh, um, Bridgerton. Ooh, lovely, lovely. The soundtrack is so beautiful. It's so so good. Maybe my favorite TV show for real. Yeah, very, very good. Um, Do you bring Yuki to competitions like some figure skaters do with their pets, like um, Sasha Trisova's pet, Tina? Uh, that's my dream, but I can't because when Canada, I guess like the flight is too long or something. No, I don't, but it's it would yeah. be awesome to have him with me. I yeah. Know. See Yuki in the kiss and cry. <laughs> I always say hi. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. Um, do you think your zodiac sign describes your personality? Uh, can you repeat? Do you think your zodiac sign uh, describes your personality? Hmm. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Um, What month do you want to get rid of this year, in the year? Uh, That's such a, oh, I would say November, but that's the month of my birthday. But like, (laughs) it's all dark and the weather is so, so, but uh, at the same time, it's the month of my birthday. So like it's the worst month, I think. Fair, fair. Um, okay, what nicknames have you been called in your life? Um, Marge, Margarine, uh, <laughs> Marjo, that's it. <laughs> very cute, very cute. Okay, so uh, let's move on to more serious skating related questions. So you definitely, you definitely have a very unique background uh, compared to other skaters in the sense that you worked as an actress in commercials and television. In what ways have you felt that your acting training has helped your skating and vice versa? Um, I think connecting with the emotion Um, in skating you're you're telling a story it's very important to connect with your partner with the music and in acting uh, connecting with uh, other actors with the text Um, so it's it's very different but at the same time super similar yeah so I think both skating and acting are helping each other yeah yeah that's awesome uh, so you and Zach are, you know, obviously both artists outside of skating. Do you feel that both of you, like for both of you, does it allow you to bring different performance and artistic pieces to every program? Yeah, um, especially Zach with his background in music. He's so amazing uh, with the finding music and stuff. Like I really trust him on that. Uh, so of course it's helping us uh, with the music and with the uh-huh. connection we have together. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Would you ever consider skating to music composed by Zach? Of course, that I I was I was thinking about it. Maybe for Olympics would be so cool. Not this year, of course, but (laughs) maybe one Olympics would be great. Um, Yeah, probably. If he feels comfortable, would be awesome. That'd be awesome. Um, So this is kind of more of a question related to fashion. In your career, I've noticed that you've kind of found this very signature dress cut, um, one with long sleeves and the flowy skirt with a cut on the side, uh, that you've kind of been able to make your signature look in a variety of programs. How did you decide on this specific style to become your signature style? Um, Before you wrote that question, when I read it, Uh I was like, I never noticed that that was my style. Then I was like, well, that's true. Yeah. that's such a good question too. I guess because you, we always choose the costume with the coaches, and I guess it's because like my the way my back is made and stuff to make it look like beautiful. I guess that's why it's like this. But like, I don't know if there's a specific reason. I just feel really comfortable and pretty in those kind of dress. Awesome, awesome. I love the green teal one that you had. Uh, Thank you. So gorgeous. Thank you. So going off of that styling question, what's kind of your thought process uh, when you decide to develop a look for your programs each season? So we we listen to the music and uh, with the designer, 
and he he draw while listening to the music. Then with the coach, we discussed about the color, what we want to add on it. So it's really a team process. It's just me like say, oh, I want a pink dress, and it's like a lot of people are into it, and it happens that we try. There's a whole new dress that is made, and oh, finally we don't like it, so we yeah complete other ones. So yeah, it's a big big process. It's so important to feel confident and yeah. pretty in your dress. So yeah, yeah it's a number one progr- uh, process in yeah. in the skating. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, we spoke to Christina and Anthony a few days ago, and she had mentioned that she uses Pinterest as like a major source of in- inspiration. Um, so that's- yeah. 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 Me too. A bit. Yeah. With Marie, we share a bit of idea yeah. and Pinterest. Yeah. It's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so I want to chat with you a little bit about your world junior championship title in 2019. Obviously it's such a big moment for you and Zach, uh, kind of walk us through what your mental training and preparation was like leading up to that. Yeah. Um, when I, I arrive at the competition since like the first practice, it's very weird, and I think it's the first time that this happened, but I knew I was going to win. I didn't have any doubt. I was every practice. I knew I was the best. It's like, and normally I, I always have the doubt, oh, am I good enough? But this one, I didn't let myself think about other things than I'm going to win this competition. I wanted that purple so badly that I had no choice to know that I'm going to get it. And it worked. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> that's <it>. Wow. <laughs> that's like, that's so remarkable to hear that like you you knew that it was going to happen. I mean, first of all, I knew it was going to happen. I knew you were going to win that title. Um, so, Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you channel that next season. Because I hope that can happen again. Because it's not like if, if you, you tell yourself like, I want yeah. to want to win, but it's not that, it's just that I knew yeah it's it's weird yeah I hope it's gonna happen again (laughs) yeah no oh my god that's awesome um it's worked (laughs) yeah so the season was obviously a huge win for I am uh as Mm -hmm. they won every single major ISU championship at the senior level um so most of the teams um at I am now have moved there um you know you've 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 really been there since the beginning of fall of 2015 um Mm -hmm. that experience uh been like as though you've seen the school grow in size, pedigree now on campuses with the addition of Scott's London campus this spring. What's that been like? Because you've been here for so long, you know, compared yeah. to other skaters who've, you know, kind of only been there for one or two seasons. What's that been like? It's awesome to have been there since like, I don't want to say beginning, but since, yeah, yeah, since yeah. before it got so big. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw the, the school grow and I'm I'm so proud of the the work my coach did and to see all those great skaters all around the world coming to Montreal, that's so great. I'm very grateful to have that opportunity to live right beside so I didn't have to move. But um, it's awesome to see it grow and grow and it, it keeps growing. It's it's awesome. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, yeah. and, and the momentum keeps amplifying every season and it's like incredible to see. Um, so this is again more of like a lighthearted question, but you seem like a very like smiley, extroverted person, uh, and whereas Zach seems a little more introverted. How do you balance that difference uh, in personalities, uh, in terms of your identity uh, of like as a team off and on the ice? I think for us, it's the perfect match. Awesome. Um, when I'm I'm like maybe sometimes too much happy. Yeah. I don't know if you can be too much happy, but like too much, like everywhere and stuff, yeah, like yeah. he's more grounded. And when he's too much grounded, too yeah, much yeah. in his head, I'm there to like, okay, it's okay, it's fun. So I think it's like perfect fit. Because if it were two person like me, we would never work, we would just be happy. Or two like Zach, I think life life would be awful. So I think it's, I don't know if I said right, but I think it's just like a, a, a balance team that we are. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's, it's always adorable to see you two kind of off ice working together and in the kiss and cry. Um, you're so smiley. Uh, and Zach is like more on the reserve side, side, but yeah. I, I've always thought that it works so well. And it's, it's awesome to hear that it's, 
it's really a perfect match. Um, it makes sense. It, it, yeah, exactly. It, it does work really well for us. I don't know if for other person that we're happy it would be annoying to be or vice versa, but for us, it's perfect and we love it. So that's good. That's awesome. Um, so this skating season or the last one, technically, um, you opted to change your free dance um, from the queen program to the Rio program. Um, in my opinion, one of the most creative and fun choices we've ever seen in ice dance. So how did you discover and decide on that music? Wow, um, I remember we were in quarantine. So we were at home and we received a message from uh, Romain. He mm -hmm. sent it to us and I remember Zach calling me and said, what is this? Like, yeah. what is this movie? It's uh, it's like for, for babies, you know? Yeah. So he was a bit like shocked, but then we listened to the music and we fell in love with it. We tried to dance on it and we were like, wow, it's working so well. And it's gonna look very different from everybody because we are, we are young and senior. We, we can use that, I don't know if it's a word, but that fastness, like that mm, dynamic. Yeah, yeah. Again, because we're, we're young, we're dynamic. So I think we went really into that. And the, the bird style, I think it's a great idea from Romain. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it, it came from Tarantine and Romain thought about that music. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome. I mean, I, I think you guys did such a good job at kind of deviating away from that like lyrical, more contemporary style into like your own words, doing something more dynamic and and quick and fun. And, and oh my God, your costumes are so good. Like, so uh, thank good. you. Yeah, I th this dress, I think Mathieu Carreau did such a great job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. He's, yeah. he's awesome. Yeah. And your makeup, by the way, was so good. Like it- Oh, thank you. So good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so Marie France uh, and other skaters like Maddie Hubble and Caitlin Hoyek uh, have all talked about how training at IM really differs from other camps uh, in terms of its focus on strength training uh, and core. Uh, how do you feel like you've benefited from this training? Because you've been here since 2015 uh, and you, you know, you've kind of had the chance to experience this type of training uh, since you were a junior. So how do you, how, you know, how do you feel about it? Um, do you mean like training with so many couples or no so um just kind of the focus on strength training uh and like okay. you know the you know core um yeah something yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well I I don't know if she 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 told you but we're a bit we're free in this team so we choose our own personal trainer and what fits, fits us better so uh -huh. I think that's very great of that school so I can have my own like a uh, Pilates trainer that works with me so I think that's very great to have that freedom and find what's best for my body and how great I feel when I do those things and that it's my choice and it's my own schedule that I make um so I really enjoy having that yeah. freedom yeah that's awesome um so Next season is definitely, the, the season after Beijing is going to be a really interesting one. Um, due to the large number of teams that are probably going to be retiring after, uh, and you know, this, this influx of younger teams are expected to fill those wings and, and teams that you've spent years competing against and, and, and training with are going to retire. And you know, those, those teams that you've been competing with in junior days are, you're, you're all going to, you know, you're all going to be seniors. And ice dance tends to be the discipline with the oldest skaters, but after 2022, the average age of the teams are gonna drop significantly. Um, do you feel that your class of junior skaters has a specific style? And what do you think you guys are gonna bring to ice dance? Ooh. Um... Well, first of all, yeah, I, I think there will be a lot of um, uh, skaters that are going to be done, but we, we're not sure. Like in the IM team, there's only one team that confirmed that they will retire. So we, we actually don't know how many will be yeah, yeah. done. But you're right that if all the oldest will be yeah. done, it will be pretty young. Yeah. Um, I hope we will bring that little... Um, that little sparkle from the youngest people um, and that a bit dynamic. Um, but I'm very curious to see the next generation coming up yeah. to see. Yeah. I think there will be a big change of 
of skaters uh, in the next year, but we never know. We never know. Nothing we never know. Yeah. Uh, exactly. I'm, I'm fully hypothesizing for all I know. Uh, no one is going to retire. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, you never know, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the ISU is repeating the Midnight Blues pattern uh, mm -hmm. for seniors this season, uh, and it, it'll be the second time in five years that it's been used. Um, do you think that this, you know, people who, you know, skaters who have been seniors for a while, will they benefit from this choice uh, because they've done it so recently and they won't be as rusty, or does that kind of hurt ice dance because of the limitation to the same, you know, patterns? Um, I don't think it's gonna hurt ice dance. Um, I I think it might uh, help those who already did it though. Because yeah. by example, me exact never did it. So we're just, yeah. we learned this step yeah. while other couples were working on details. Yeah. So they had a little step forward, if I can yeah. say that. Um, but we're gonna catch up quickly. Yeah. And uh, no, I think it's it's fine. It's a, it's a not, the, the dance is very nice and we never did it so some couple never did it so i think it's okay that it's it's back yeah i'm glad to do it yeah uh so what's your favorite pattern oh i think uh you know the juniors also do a blues yeah this blues is uh i think it's my favorite Ooh. just how smooth it is and it's it's really relaxed but like the, the chucks at the end is my favorite turn to do so I think I would say the the, the junior blues this year. Okay. Yeah, they're so awesome. lucky. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what is it like training with so many skaters that you know have had such illustrious careers? Because we talked about this before. You've been at IM or you know formerly Gadba since 2015, and that's a crazy amount of time. And you know you've trained with Tessa and Scott, Gabby and Guillaume, so many other skaters. Like, what's that like? it's it's a great gift it's uh -huh. so awesome um i would say just by the conversation we can have in the room talking about the stress mental health um just that is a is a gift but also seeing them train to so have them as example of how great they can train um when it's hard to know that they have been there since longer they're older and it's even maybe harder for them so it's just very motivating to see how far we can get if we continue to work like they do. So it's just, I'm, I'm just very grateful of everybody that is on the team. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. Um, and it, it, it's, it's clearly very apparent with the amount of, you know, progress that you two have made as a team. And it's, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I'm assuming that's kind of also a reflection of the training environment that you're in. And it, it, it seems really awesome that, you know, you're, you're in this healthy environment and, you know, that your, your, your teammates do help you um, every day in training. Yeah, yeah, it's very awesome to see that you're two competitor, yeah. but you're still helping each other, talking yeah, yeah. to each other, being friends. I think that's so awesome, yeah, especially awesome. in a competitive, yeah. and very judgy sport. Yeah, that's so, so great. Yeah, that's awesome. And you, you two are also training with Laurence and Nick. And yes. I mean, it's, you know, we're great friends. I know. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, Laurence seems like, like, seems so nice. Um, Both of you two have like the best makeup. I'm always <laughs> a fan of your two's uh, eyeshadow looks. Um, oh, thank you. Um, yes. So uh, you've so far skated two Imagine Dragons. Um, programs uh, so far you did the um you did the dream uh in your free dance in 2017 and then radioactive in 2019 so out of you and zach which one of you is a bigger imagine dragons fan <laughs> uh yeah so the second one was for a show was for shows with uh -huh. an s but uh, i so i was like which program did we do yeah okay um i i really love imagine dragon uh-huh Mm, maybe a bit Zach too, because I said for show I really want to do something different. Uh huh. And he said, "Oh, can you find something with Imagine Dragon?" So I think he really enjoy it, but I love it too. So maybe equal? Can I say that? 
That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> so we'll end this interview with kind of a more fun question. So I really want to know what has been your favorite program from any discipline um, in the last quad and also of all time. Um, so it's the same program. It's uh, from Gabby and Guillaume Build a Home. Oh, lovely program, lovely program. It went, it, it, it went somewhere else. I don't know. It's the, the, the told the story on the ice, even though yeah. they're not speaking. I think they're, I could cry every time they yeah. were skating it, even yeah. training. For me, that's the best program yeah. of all, all time. Yeah, it, it is. It's so gorgeous. Like it, yeah, it is. It's, it's perfect. For, yeah. Even though perfection doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. That for me is perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's lovely to hear. Um, but yeah, uh, I really want to thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Um, and we hope that everyone has as much fun listening to this as I did talking to Marjorie today. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want to wish you the best of luck in the fall and I cannot wait to see you perform and also I'm manifesting that you have very confident energy going into Canadian Nationals just like you did in at 2019 Junior Worlds. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. What a great conversation. Thank you so much.